Good afternoon, Manufacturing All-Stars, and welcome to this episode of Manufacturing Happy Hour. Today, you are going to learn about how IoT solutions in predictive maintenance can prevent disastrous equipment failures. I'm joined once again by Machek Kranz, the Vice President of Strategic Innovation at Cisco. Cheers, Machek. Cheers, Chris. Thanks for having me over. No problem. Now this is our last episode in a four-part mini-series on tangible IoT solutions related to the four FAS paths to IoT payback. And this topic being um, predictive maintenance. Matcha, can you give us a little definition around that before we dive into an example? Sure, and first of all, a really nice beer. I think it's Pilsner, right? Yeah, so, uh, it is, it is. Good call. <laughs> you have a, you have a good uh, taste buds for what we've got in front of us. Um, but let's go back to the topic. So preventive <laughs> maintenance. Um, uh, as the name implies, it is about um, us analyzing the data and then actually anticipating the problems before they appear. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And since we're dealing with such a big topic, preventing disastrous failures, can you give us an example of a company that implemented a solution and has been able to prevent these type of things from happening? Sure. So, you know, um, obviously we see a lot of uh, preventive maintenance solutions in the industrial world, in manufacturing, but uh, um, maybe for a change, let's talk about mining. Mm -hmm. So. Um, uh, you know, in mines, I don't know if you've ever been to an open pit mine, but it's like um, uh, two miles across, one mile deep hole in earth. And, um, yeah, they're big. Yeah, they're big. Yeah. <laughs> and they're actually <laughs> overwhelming. And, uh, um, you know, there are these little specks moving around the edges, and these little um, specks are actually these huge, huge hauling vehicles, right? Mm -hmm. Where the, yeah. the tire is sort of a taller than a human being. Mm -hmm. and, um, and they basically carry, let's say, iron ore uh, from the pit, uh, right, to. Uh, uh, to the train station and into the port, and um, every time one of these vehicles breaks down, it mm -hmm. would uh, cost the uh, mining company roughly two million dollars per day in lost revenues. And by the way, the only way to pull out one of these vehicles out of the pit is to use another vehicle, so mm -hmm. your cost basically doubles. So uh, there's no wonder that uh, mining companies started to think about how they can fix the problem. And they um, basically started putting a bunch of sensors on these vehicles, collecting the data, and then analyzing the data. Initially uh, feeding this data into uh, sort of analytic systems, and they were able to um, um, basically anticipate up to 80% of potential problems wow. up to three months in advance. But that's just a start. Mm -hmm. uh, so then, uh, then comes uh, machine learning, and they um, started feeding um, all these data sets into machine learning and now in, in some cases uh, mining companies can predict uh, failures 95 percent uh, um, of the time up to three months in advance and every time every day um, they save uh, and they have a vehicle operating that can save two million dollars per day that's pretty incredible yep. that's um, yeah I was I was hoping you'd quantify that in terms of dollars because I knew those type of failures there's pretty, I feel like there's an ROI just on maybe one of those failures occurring from implementing a solution like that. Absolutely, yep. Excellent. Well, for those of you out there, we've got a few other episodes on this if you've missed them so far around tangible IoT examples. Make sure you check those out. In addition, for more examples, head over to Machek's website, machekkranz.com. I'll have a link to that below this video. In the meantime, Machek, thank you so much for being on this first mini-series around you. the IoT. This was a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed it too. In the meantime, stay innovative, stay thirsty, and we'll see you again here on Manufacturing Happy Hour real soon. Cheers. Cheers.